Hi there, everybody. Welcome to Fallout 3, I hope. So what are we doing today? I'm going to attempt to make an episode. I was literally just playing it, and the game decided, oh, uh, by the way, uh, you're not allowed to play this game. You have to, unfortunately, fail miserably and hilariously, because we tell you to. Yeah, well, game, you can bite my ass. I don't know why this game has such an issue running with Windows 10. I mean, it's the same engine as New Vegas, and New Vegas has little to no issues whatsoever. I've never understood it. I literally have never understood it. Why just this title? Why? I I I I don't understand. The manners of women are the Anyways, for this gameplay, what I am doing is literally just dinking around and doing things the way I want to do. So, I don't exactly have a full-on plan of what I normally do. Some things I do all the time, like blowing this chick's brains out. Who the hell are you? Well, you better calm down before I put you down because that you're loud. Bastard. Rope you into finding me too, huh? What no, he didn't rope me in anything. You're just extremely rude for a first meeting. I have no shame. All right. Shut up. In fact, you know what? There we go. Just in case. And this is one of the first places I will start getting negative karma. Now, what kind of character do I play? Generally a good guy. I've not seen a lot of instances where being evil is beneficial. There are a few, like literally right there, what I just did. Being a complete and utter prick. I have no idea what just happened there, but the game stalled and came back. We're in luck. I can get through a little bit. So one of the first things I do also is I come up to Megaton, and I make sure I visit everybody and get the bobblehead that is there. For those that do not know, the strength bobblehead exists in Megaton. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, girl. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holla if you need something. I always like to be nice to him. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. Thank you. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Um, let's discuss the bomb. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? You think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. I don't need a reward. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't, you know, go blowing us up. All right. Okay. So, the strength bobblehead 
in Megaton, for those that do not know, is inside Lucas Sims' house. I have found, after disarming the bomb, I'm able to get his house to actually open without breaking into it. Let's see if I can do it. You're welcome, Mr. Sims. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. She's also crazy and awesome at the exact same time. Level up. All right. There is a reason I go about doing this the way I'm doing this. Let's see here. It's level four that I need the other one in. Okay, so now we are going to go Lucky Lucky Lulu. No. What am I going to do? I'm going to put you into strength. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to the dude up here and do a transition in and out. This guy gives you a very simple quest. If he's standing in here. I have no idea. Did I walk past him? Yes, I did. What do you need? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs. And I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers. But if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I'll keep it in mind, thank you. All right. Damn, still locked. Well, let's go take a look in our house. Then we'll go visit Moira, and I will use her store. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? You can tell me a joke. Yeah, the two cannibals are eating a clown. One cannibal turns to the other and asks, Does this taste funny to you? One-liners. Always the best. This is where you store your bobbleheads. Everyone should know that from the various games that have had it. I'm more referencing Fallout 4 for that one. There is some food in there, but it's not needed. There is a companion in this town. Though, unfortunately, you need to be evil as shit just to get him. Okay, his house still is not open. I will keep checking it. I don't care. I want that strength bobblehead. Now, for the... Boink. I need repair 30. Alright, we're going to have to level up again. Now, my skills are not going to be raised above 50, if I can help it. Rest an hour. Ha-ha! Didn't take long at all, and I was expecting to have to wait forever and a day. All right. So, we come in here. Bam. I now have more strength. And then, if I... I think it's actually this room here... Yes, and nobody's here. Drop the book. Nobody's here. Hunting rifle! Because, why not? 
I mean, it's here. Nobody's here. Lucas Sims or his son. And now that we got the bobblehead out of the way, let's go visit Moira and sell a bunch of my junk. The reason I don't raise my skills past 50, A, for the most part, while you're exploring, you don't need it. And for another, if you do a lot of exploring, we actually find enough skill books to raise everything don't by 50. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Sure, I got plenty to great. say. Great. Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or whatever strikes your fancy. This outside place is amazing. The main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What's this book? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. I'll give you a hand. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? I'll tackle the radiation because it's the easiest. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books. But I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Okay. Oh, you're a peach. Now, just... Oh, you don't know anything yet. First, can I see what you have for sale, please? So I can sell a bunch of junk. I like to keep those for a little bit, just until I'm able to actually use them. Alright, now, Moira, what you got for me? You actually have a missile launcher? That's scary. Her with a missile launcher scares me more than a raider. Um... You know, I'm wanting to do energy. Done. Good hunting. Thank you, my darling. Now let's equip this uh, armored vault suit. And then while I'm at it, I forgot about this. Forgot to equip this first. Okay then. We jumpy jump. Hey. Good day. Ah, even with the utility suit, it's not high enough. I didn't think that one through. That's okay, though. The radiation comes the easiest. <laughs> Shut up, Brahmin. Behold, he is 
coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be Bam. Six hundred. Brads. Now, it's good to always do the optional quests for her, mainly because it really does aid in your rewards. So, nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, feeling a bit under the weather? Or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> I'm about as radiated as I can get without burning a hole in the floor. I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. Just do your examination and fix me up, please. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that? At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> okay, a little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. Thanks. I've, I'm ready I've, to continue the research. I'm getting food. I'll check out the Super Duper Mart. Can you repair my stuff? Thank you very much. I got Cause it's actually a really badass weapon. My eye of you. Now for some reason, I do not have the quests for the expansion. They haven't loaded for whatever reason the game decided, hey, I wanna mess with you. So, what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to see if they even installed. Because Fallout 3 does seem to have a lot of issues on Windows 10. So, I'm not sure exactly what's causing it. Well, I'll go into Steam and I'll see if potentially it didn't install them. Because, Lord knows. Because I do want to do the expansions. They are fun. But to my earlier point... There are enough skill books scattered around the wasteland that as long as you take comprehension, you actually can put all your skills to 50 and boost them all the way to 100 with the skill books scattered across the world. I won up that fact with a stupid glitch. I will explain that glitch when I get there. Simply because, well, it's hilarious. And if you're one of those that wants to have 100 for all the skills, it'll help you out. Now, I'm not running to the Super Duper Mart right now, because I like to come here to this school. There is no quest to come here. It's just a place that you literally get to explore. And I enjoy it. Okay. Ah, uh, this... Hi. Holy shit. Well, you died a little fast. Hang on a tip biscuit. Okay, I'm just on normal. Just like a little bitch. Excuse you. I am not a little bitch. I picked up an ashtray. I'll toss that later. Okay. Well. Okay, cut it. Who is there? Your mama. Time to tear you apart. This is why the hunting rifle is nice. And this is also nice. But we will need our speech rather high to utilize that music sheet. To its fullest potential. 
a special, unique weapon that I do intend to obtain, but it's kind of out of the way. It's one of those uh, quests that you don't necessarily okay, know about. Who is that? That puppy is really getting annoying. Who's out there? Who's out there? Come on, boy. Oh, you're a little tougher. Nighty night. Please let the dead bugs bite. Hello. Nobody in here. Okay, for now I'll just shut this off. Hi, good sir. I don't like your face. What? I don't like his face. One thing I am going to do, though. That's better. Okay. So sad. They locked the kids in a room hoping they'd be safe. And the bombs did them dirty. Okay. Your face is ugly. I am one of those chronic, after I shoot, I reload people. Okay, so, a Nuka machine. Woohoo! Nuka Cola Quantum for the quest that you end up finding. Woohoo! Okay. Da -da. Are you sure? Because. It looks to me like your time ran out, sweetheart. Sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean it. Thanks for the goodies. Okay, and over here we got some buff out, some jet. Stim stim, mentats. Lunchbox. I only care about the lunch boxes so I can make bottle cap mines and sell them for way more than what the lunch boxes would actually sell for once I get the schematic. Ooh, ammo. Puppy. Hi, how you doing? I love you, but you have to die. Plus, you didn't hear from me, but Dog Meat's a better companion than you. Do I want a little something? Are you sure? Thank you very much for the experience and the ammo. And then over here, duck and cover. Now, this place actually holds two, count it, two books. Now, so far we have found just the duck and cover. The other one is down below, deep in the bowels. Oh, feels good. Right. Um, I want to... There we go. I like having my stim packs on quick hit. 
Yeah, the sheet music you use later for a quest's special item. Which is amazing, I must say. Nope. It's go time. It is, but you need to die first. Now, what did you have? Thank you, and thank you. Um, your mama's boyfriend. She wanted me to say hello. Well, I guess since I'm playing as a girl this time, I'm the girlfriend. Yeah, for where I shot you, I can totally understand why you'd say that. I'll take that Chinese pistol. Now, the Chinese pistol in this game, it, it, it really sucks. The only time it's ever actually a feasible weapon is after a DLC. Point lookout, to be exact. Alright, so let me see what we got in here. Radex. And then first aid box. Bumbo. Buff out. Those are the big ones. Moving on. Good night. Nobody this way. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. You guys are gross. Did you just bite me? You did just bite me. I'm going to vats you for that one. He bit me. Alright. Now we're in the end of the anthill. Because they found a giant anthill down here. And this is where you want to go. We have an assault rifle, ammo for it, stim packs, unfortunate victims of the ants. But you also get a stealth manual. So, to me, worth it. And the assault rifle, definitely. They're all dead. That's all I came down there for was the skill book as well as the assault rifle. I guess for all intents and purposes that's all I come in here for are the skill books. Because there's no other reason to really visit here aside from a small amount of experience, some ammunition. To which when I go outside I get to smack three boys around. Hi. Are you sure about that? Because I'm going to shoot your ass. Thank you. Excuse you and the horse you rode in on? Pow, 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 buddy, buddy. Did you really fall down? Oh, you're up there, okay. Good night. Done. Literally. Okay. So, 
I'm going to save here. I'm going to make it a new save. We are going to continue forward. This game is just a glitchy mess when it comes to Windows 10, so we shall see exactly how far I'm able to get and if I can fix those stupid DLCs. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye!